Craig Adams here from Wedding Film School, and today I'm going to show you a screen record of me editing an entire wedding ceremony. So for this wedding, I had two shooters, myself and a second. Uh, we had three cameras, a C100 for this, a 5D Mark III, which is this track, these two clips, and then this third track is a 6D. So uh, we also had three sources of audio, one for the readings, which was up on the podium, one uh, on the officiant, who was the actually the mayor of the town, and then we also had one on the groom. And each of these were Zoom H1s with Countryman B3 microphone lav mics attached to them. So uh, I'm just going to go through. This is a really quick ceremony. It's only 18 minutes. Um, so it should be pretty straightforward. So I always start with the audio. So we're just going to command S and I've got my left hand on shift Z space and Z and the A button. Um, I'll be using those hotkeys a lot for this part. So first I'm just going to kind of listen, figure out what I want to use of this track. So it sounds like the so it sounds like the music is pretty good for this beginning up to this point right to here gets a little hot so I'm gonna go in here and lay these two uh, keyframes and it sounds like you know whoops sounds like the podium as I can see someone's talking for this mic so we're definitely gonna use that so two keyframes there and then two keyframes at the end and then someone's talking at the podium again so we're gonna do the same thing and then what I see here is actually music. So we're going to use that music. I don't see anyone talking, so we're actually going to let that play out. And then we're going to switch back to the officiant. I can see that he starts talking, so we'll do that there. So I'm just going to sh use the Z tool and zoom in. Press A to get out of that. And uh, I'm just going to pull these keyframes a lot closer to each other. Oops, it's going to be the opposite. Whoops, all right, shift Z to see everything. Put the cursor where I want, and then Z tool. Okay. So this keyframe is going to go down. I'm going to zoom back out. And all of this footage is uh, compressed using ProRes, so optimized for Final Cut X. So it should run pretty fine. Um, so now we're just going to kind of zoom out a little bit and listen to where she actually starts talking. To love. All right, so right here. So we're going to bring up, oops, I'm going to slide, not raise. There we go. Uh, these two keyframes closer. We're just going to bring up this l l track audio right before she starts talking. To love is not to possess. Right there. Sounds a little roboty, so we'll have to fix that at some point. We'll also fix the audio levels later. When true and lasting love can alone abide. Alright, so we'll cut the audio here before that little, you know, loud noise. Because her hands on the podium are like really close to the mic, so it's too loud. Let's listen to when this starts. Not yet. Nope. 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 Julian. Yep. So we're going to put this right keyframe over here. Bring this right next to it. Cut that. And then this last set, I just want to listen to this. OK, so Fishian starts talking right here, so we're just going to zoom in on that. Okay, easy. So we're just going to pull this over here. Pull this right to where it kind of fades out, and then bring that down. And technically I don't need to do this, but I like to bring the end of the track to where it ends, just to help organize. And that should be it, other than, you know, adjusting the EQ possibly, and then definitely raising the volume so that's normalized well. Uh, this whole track is pretty good. So we're going to option S and we're going to do the groom next because we'll use the groom's mic less than the officiants. Um, so I actually like the levels for after this. So we're actually going to 
set two keyframes to pull in after that fades out. And uh, we're going to do two keyframes to gradually switch over to the officiant as he talks right here. We're going to let that play out to here. It's kind of, I'm just like looking at the waveform. So let's zoom in a little bit. We can see that the officiant, no, uh, the groom starts to talk here. And I'm just going to get rid of this so I can see what is actually going on with a V. Okay, so let's figure out where that starts. And I'm not really worrying about video at this point. Alright, so I'm just going to zoom in. And this readings will actually fade right out to where I'm going to pull in with the groom. So I'm actually going to make this a fade just because it is a longer stretch where really nothing happens. So I'm just going to mirror that. And now that we have that side done, we can uh, zoom in on this. Okay, I want to hear that. So I'm going to use that. I'm also going to do what I just did, a very general fade to um, where the officiant starts talking here. So instead of just doing an abrupt one, I think it'll be less noticeable, the change between the two tracks, if we do gradual. Uh, so we're going to bring that down. Because the officiant isn't talking at all for this entire beginning here. Uh, so we have that all squared away. Even though we're not working on the efficient track yet, you know, I know that for a fact. All right, so the keyframes are going to match exactly uh, the readings keyframes. Okay, so we hear all this, this fades out, this fades in at the exact same moment we get all this, and then we switch over to the efficient. Um, I'm just going to un. Uh, actually, I'm going to highlight these two tracks and just do a command S solo on both of them so I can listen to them. All right, so between these, let's see what we got. Okay, so I believe this is all nothing. So this is just people walking. I'm actually going to mirror that. And we're going to pull that down as the readings come up, but I don't have the right end of this, so I'm not going to do that yet. Um, OK, so that's set. All of this is, let's zoom in on this section here. And actually, we're going to just isolate the groom, because I want to figure out where the couple is talking. Cool, so we'll leave that. So it seems like just right here is the officiant talking, but then we'll come back here. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to uh, go in and out right here between the two. We're going to zoom in. Okay. Okay. We'll do a nice gradual change Oops. from here to here. And we're just going to mimic. OK, so this is down. This is down. This is down. these line up. Well, actually, I want that to be over here. So this will come down at that point, but I haven't, I don't have the keyframe on the right. Let's see where that ends. Okay, so that's all of this right over here. And I'm going to just select these two, just so I don't listen to all of that. Well, actually, I'm going to undo that. 
I'm gonna keep with the groom mic all the way through here. At this point, I would like to invite me as brother Devin Petopoulos. Okay, so right here, let's see the last moment she speaks. Okay, so right here, we're gonna switch back to the uh, efficient. Whoops, I'll zoom in just so I can tweak this better. There, we're gonna use this mic. Even though it's low, I'll, I th still think I can raise it up enough so that we can hear what's going on. Okay, so then we have the readings come back right here. So we'll probably do uh, that'll go down. So let's figure out where I want this. So it gets a little hot right here, but this is pretty good audio as far as keeping this. And now, this is always a tricky part. Let's just make sure that they don't say anything weird or just, just double check it. Alright, well we don't see them anymore, so it doesn't really make sense. So I'm actually going to use this camera audio, and we're going to do a nice little gradual change before he says that. Okay, because if we can't see them, it doesn't really make sense that we can hear them. So I'm just going to cut back to the camera audio. So this will go down. Oops, no, that's the camera audio. So it will start down, it'll come back up, this will cut out. So just to hear those two, let's just double check that. So that sounds fine. Um, all right, let's just piece together this last bit here. So we're going to go back to the groom mic right here. But we're also just going to use the officiants for right before. So technically, that completes the groom track. And we're going to wrap up with the readings. So we need that to go down. So let's line this up. This is a really quick transition. That goes down. And okay, so then we bring it back. So we're gonna mirror those. That goes back up and then this mirrors with that and goes down and that's it. Okay, and like I said, I like to cut off the ends just so I know where it ends. So we're gonna put that there. This is just like an organization thing. Helps me know. Okay, so now technically all of the audio is complete all the way through. And we did use one of the cameras, so that's good that we didn't just get rid of this. But now at this point, we can just cut all of the camera audio because we're not gonna use any of it, except for that little last bit that we had right here. So in a perfect world, I would have another Zoom H1 in the back, just getting like an audience. Uh, I wouldn't be using the camera audio because I don't know, you know, there might be monopod bumps, sounds like that, so, you know. It's better to just have another audio source for that. Okay, so I see one thing. I forgot to do this. So that just needs to drop. Okay. Just double checking. That looks pretty good. Alright, so now what I do is I'm going to adjust the audio levels for each. And uh, I'm just going to bring it to where it sh about should be just based on the waveform. 
So I'm just going to pull these up a little bit right here for the officiant. Can pull that up a tiny bit. And then we're going to pull up the groom your mic here. And your, my arms be your home. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Nope. Okay. Um, this up a tiny bit. And then that looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna select all of these. Alt click new compound clip, ceremony audio, just so I can keep things organized. And I'm gonna let that buffer real quick. And one of the things that I love about Final Cut is its ability to normalize uh, audio. And I would love for it to have more features and have a more robust, you know, calculation of how it can normalize because I think it's a really really useful tool and, and I'm sure that you know Premiere and other things have some sort of it but I'm just really happy with what uh, Final Cut has so I'm gonna let this waveform uh, develop and then I'm actually gonna show you what I do with normalization for this track okay this really shouldn't take that long, but as it builds the waveform, you can see that you know some sections are way lower than others. So I actually might go back in and just tweak that a little bit. Like right in the middle, uh, the readings look really, really hot compared to everything else. So I'm actually just gonna do that real quick. So right here, I'm just gonna bring that audio. So it should be right here. And once again, my computer is recording the screen and recording the audio. Uh, video is in HD, so that plus editing a full wedding with multiple tracks, you know, it can be a little taxing. So I actually did bring you set up so that I'm going to pull down to negative two. That'll help out for sure. All right, let's just let that waveform build. So I felt really good about this. We had the three cameras and uh, the coverage looks pretty good. So the only trouble spot that I see is where the, tr the cursor is. There's only one camera covering that, what looks like 20, 25 seconds worth. So that means we have to use that camera for that section. So hopefully nothing happens to it. And from what I see in the thumbnails, you know, it doesn't look like it moves or anything. So it should be fine but everything else at least has two sometimes three camera angles so if one camera moves you know I've got another camera probably stationary and that's the nice thing about three cameras with two people chances are you can only handle one camera at a time so at least one camera is not moving at all times <laughs> which is kinda what you want maybe I should have had the third camera rolling for the procession but that's okay um, probably could have done that just as some kind of safety wide or something but I'm usually fine with just two cameras for that moment okay so the waveform is building as soon as the waveform is built and uh, it stops rendering that new compound clip because it needs to re-render the compound clips for some reason um, I'm going to apply the normalization feature. So I'm actually just going to do that right now. So we're just going to click that, go to audio analysis, and then just let it sit. And it should give me a percentage or, you know, it's what's, because I think it's, it's analyzing the clip already, plus now the audio enhancement analyzation. So we'll see which one wins. I'm just going to let my computer cook for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Letting it cook. See, this is worrying me. You know, I have all the patience in the world, but once I jump to 4K, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult, you know, to edit. I'm definitely going to have to upgrade my MacBook Pro. Probably going to have to do that this season. Maybe as soon as the new one comes out, I believe in June, uh, is probably when I shall 
upgrade. What I would love is a 15 inch, with the new processor, max it out for the processor, max it out for the RAM, and then get make sure it has solid state. This computer has solid state, but the hard drive that I'm editing off of right now is RAID, but um, I wish I had a solid state Thunderbolt connected uh, drive. You know, that would help out a little bit. Um, this is only an 18 minute clip. I don't know why it's taking this long. I guess I'm just gonna keep filibustering. Just gonna keep talking to you until it happens. Okay, there we go. So it stopped its normal rendering of the compound clip. And what we see there is the percentage of the audio enhancements. I'm just gonna let this ride. You know, you gotta fold it, you're gonna see the full edit, how long it takes me and every single thing I do to edit this ceremony. Clip, 100%, turns green. Obvious, like, don't do that. All right, we're just gonna click uh, loudness and you'll see it start to uh, adjust. So we're just gonna let that work. Um, so it's going to uh, try to make it so that everything is like at a constant audio level. And you don't want to do this too much because it can distort a bit, um, but it's definitely going to help this. Uh, there we go. I may have to raise up the levels for when the couple mic is being used just because the recording level was pretty low for that. But, um, We'll see what it does. That looks pretty good. The music in the beginning might be a little too much. I'm gonna double check that. Let's turn this off because if you just leave this on, it like wants to do that for everything, so. I don't need to check the audio for these video clips that I have muted, you know, so why waste the time and the computer processing? <laughs> okay. Looks pretty good. Let's just do a sound check. Office support. You are docilely living. In what I choose you. I choose. Shall not walk alone. If. As your love is my hand. Lee and Joe for the content. That sounds pretty good to me. All right, so the audio is all complete and that leaves my three tracks of video. Um, so what I like to do is put the most used on top. So this uh, track for the C100 is secondary to this. Um, so I'm going to leave that on top and I'm just going to work in this section right here. So what I'm going to do, zoom in, and what I do is just go track by track and then get rid of uh, clips and mess ups, parts that I'm not going to use. Okay, so that looks good. And using this R tool, I'm just going to cut out uh, sections that um, are moves or mess ups or don't, you know, help. And this may be, you know, this is different, you know, this is like most people use multicam or whatever, all that stuff. You know, this is what I do just because just I'm used to it. This is what I like. It makes, you know, it makes me look at all of the footage and I know exactly what is in the edit. I just, I tried, I've tried um, multi-cam stuff. I just, it just has never caught on. So this is what I do. So I was shooting with a 70 to 200 on a monopod, I believe, with the 5D Mark III up top. So trying to snipe off these reaction shots as people are coming down the aisle is something that I do. I always try to cut before people spike the camera like that. You know, you don't like that. Okay, good. Sometimes the groom can come out in a very sneaky way and I don't catch it, but this was good. He's very smiley and good. Okay. 
Okay. I love this R tool. It makes this really, really easy. And especially like the scrubbing. You know, this would be impossible if I couldn't just scrub. Mm, that's a really quick shot. Focus issues. Okay. And it also helps that I know my shooting style. So I, I kind of know when I'm off, I move on to something else. It'll be a little different when I'm editing my second shooter's footage, but I'm mainly just going to use, you know, that's, see, that's a problem there. I don't know what he was doing. All right, well, see, you know, you can't really blame him because that's an expectation. I should have had like a backup camera. So we'll, we'll deal with that problem when it comes. Okay, so people standing up. So I actually exposed for the door opening, but I didn't change the uh, white balance. So we'll see how that is. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really communicate to my second shooter what they should be doing as well as I should have. Definitely should have had a third camera just locked off wide, just for moments like this, where I'm not covering something, he's not covering something. You know, for sure. Okay, got a couple phones out in the aisle, not too bad. I cut back to get his reaction every so often. My second shooter is trying to find something. I don't know what they were looking for. Okay. Let's get the veil coming off. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so let's figure out when they get set. So they're set when I cut. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then a second, cause I think we were communicating. Like I was looking, he gave me the thumbs up and then I was good. Uh, but definitely having a, th a third camera would have been helpful. All right, so this third camera starts. I kind of figure out this should start right here. So let's see what he's doing with his camera. I think he moves it. Yeah. That's fine. Kind of sucks. This was just bad planning on my part. So I'm actually just going to leave that and cut it when she leaves. So this was unmanned. I was manning this other camera at this point. So I'm just going to keep with this top track. Okay. I realized that it wasn't getting anything right here. I switched over. Okay. So it looks like this is unmanned for a while. As you can see through the thumbnails, you know, it doesn't move. So I'm just looking for bad moments. And when they leave here, it's kind of pointless. So I can get rid of that, but bring it back when they come back. Okay. Okay. So this is the kiss. That's a good angle for the kiss. And all that. Okay, so it is a quick ceremony, so it's easy. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to V, so black out um, the footage that I just used, just so I know what I'm looking at. Alright, so now I have the second track, because anything that I cut out of these top two tracks, I have to use on the third, and that's just the way it is. You know, that's what my second shooter was getting, so uh, there's no cutting that's going to be involved with this down here. So I'm just going to zoom in on this section and see if there's any mess ups or anything. I should just get rid of this. Well, actually, this is I already cut this, so that's good to go. Uh, so we'll start right here. Mm, looks like exposure problems. But my second shooter was also doing things, so... I'm going to cut that right there. And then go back. Okay. Okay. And because I know the audio is good, you know, none of that matters. I'm just worrying about the, the video right now. Okay. So I zoom out, but it seems like someone was he's doing something with the camera. Focus. The focus comes in right there. So I, as much as I don't like the zoom and the focus, I'm going to leave that. Just because my second shooter was having doing something. So we were both messed up at the same time. But we're probably going to use that clip right there. So where there's mess ups, um, I'm just going to put a little marker. So I know that I have to use this clip up here. Okay, so I definitely cannot include this. So I cut it. Okay. I believe the kiss is coming up. No, they're still doing rings. Okay. All of that is good. All right. Cut off that transition. Start it there. And that stays good the whole time. He's doing his speech. Cut it back to right there. That's a, that's a better angle, though, you know. I actually like this reaction shot, that's good. So I'll definitely use that. It's probably short though. Alright, we'll leave that. Bring it back right here. The second shooter is doing something. He should have just been static in the aisle, you know. Okay, turn to get that kiss, good. I'm just, even though it's a really, really quick shot, I'm just gonna put that crowd clapping in. Yeah, my second shooter's doing something. So I'm just gonna leave that whole part in. Okay, so I would have benefited from a third camera stationary for this entire ceremony, for sure. Um, okay, so now for, you know, these sections are what I'm going to show, but for this section I have to figure out when, if I should cut at all. So uh, let's just look at what the the other angle sees and just see if it's you know worth it cutting back to this at all maybe right here it's just shaky so I'm not going to uh, so now let's look at this section so now I know that there's a good angle for the speaker for this entire thing but if there's a cutaway even for a second yeah, that might be worth it all right, so none of this because that's too dark, but this 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 is pretty cool. So let's just do that for about like five seconds, and then right before he gets rid of it, let's do it for another three seconds, just to add some variety, you know. Okay, so zoom back out. 
Our next section is this right here. Our tool. So we're going to keep on that. Okay. So now that's her. Let's I listen to what's happening. Integrity. I will respect your integrity. And okay. So that's the groom. I should, like, you know, something should be rolling over there, but my second shooter is set right here. So it's going to be on her angle the whole time until I can cut right here. Cut to that wide, and then go back to her, and then go over to this and side. Have faith. And have faith. And you're a Loving what I know of you. Okay, so now it's back to her, so I actually want to use this. So I should have had this rolling for this part to see his face during his vows more. Um, okay, so we only want to cut back just for that smile. So I'm actually going to get rid of that, only show that for a hot second. And I know that these markers are where I need to show this clip. So I'm just going to double check. I will spend my life. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. And then I'm going to cut. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to cut right here. So we start there. We go there. We see that and cut back. Okay. So, because I want. I'm going to treat this like the reaction shot. I'm going to do probably three or four seconds every so often for that. And then none of this is good, so I gotta keep it on this angle. Okay, so now this section, let's just zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Um, okay, so he's talking. Then sh she's talking. And then no one's talking. Okay, so for this part, we want to show more of this, but then show uh, every so often a reaction shot of her. But then cut to the wide at least once, but then right here we'll cut to this wide. Uh, I'm actually going to do one more reaction for the wide, so we just have to get rid of both of those. So her, him, both, him, her, him, her, him, both. And then for this, we want it to be reversed, so we're going to show more of her. And then just show a reaction of him occasionally. And I know that's good, so I'm just going to leave that there. Um, I'm just going to cut this to right here, because that's when he starts to speak. And then, just like I did before, I'm going to show them both every so often. Just so it's a good variety, you know. Okay. So now we have him speaking, but they're also doing something. So I want to cut back when I can. So right at that moment, you know, definitely going to cut for a little bit. Do a quick shot of that and then go back. I'll see if there's a moment right here. I'll show a couple seconds of that there. Just because him talking isn't as important as what they're doing, so. I'm actually just going to get rid of this right here. Okay. Cut to that. Go back. What is this? So I want to show this reaction. So we'll just isolate that. Then this shot isn't good until... Even then, it's like kind of skewed. I don't like that. I want to switch back bef between the two of these. We can see the mayor talking, the officiant talking easier there. So we're just going to use this as a really quick uh, reaction shot. 
So I'm going to cut a quick reaction shot there. And then I'm actually going to cut... Oops. I'm actually going to show this angle the whole time. So I'm just going to extend that to the whole clip. So that to that, to that, and then technically we have one camera left, so, and there's going to be cuts, so uh, what I'm going to do is blade tool, clip that, and then treat this like this is the end of the ceremony. So I'm just going to blade, blade tool. So I'm just going to cut. So now I'm going to do jump cuts so that ends the, the straight, you know, continuous coverage. Cut that there. In a perfect world, this would be, you know, smooth and I wouldn't have to cut all this junk out, but that's okay. Okay, that's it. Alright, I shall zoom out and that should be completed. You know, everything looks pretty good. Um, yeah, this is the best ceremony I can cut with the footage that I got. Wasn't perfect. Definitely needed the third camera to be rolling wide for the beginning and the end. You know, that would have helped out quite a bit. So now that I zoom out for the doc edit, I have this entire sequence that is just the ceremony. And sometimes you edit shorter than the actual, which I did, you know, I cut it short. So you have to double check that by going over, finding the last frame, and then shortening that compound clip. So there's the ceremony. So technically if I did command shift G, you know, I could show it, but just for organization's sake, I'm going to keep it contained within that. Okay, so that's the ceremony. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of it. If you still have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, thanks.